Hello Aquarius and welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well in this um, Plutonian energy that we're all swimming through um, in Aquarius, <laughs> your sign, for the next few months. But um, it is very transformative and enlightening. And uh, I want to tap in to see where you're at within your journey. We're going to start with some new cards that I just um, bought over the weekend as I went on my own sojourn through um, some sacred lands uh, near where I live. And in the town, there was a spiritual shop. So I had bought these cards really stood out to me, Nature Spirit. And I've used them a few times. I've been guided to incorporate them in to this reading for you. So I hope that you're doing well, Aquarius. I know that it is not easy energy uh, to navigate, um, at least from ego. But if you're able to really tap in and connect to source energy, to spirit, to nature, to nature spirit, that will be tremendously helpful for all of us. So let's see what comes through. This is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Aquarius. Keep in mind, these are general messages. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story if it is not resonating with you. Check with your moon or rising sign if you know them. If you'd like to uh, book a personal, private, one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can do so on my website, which is bethechange333.com. The information is also in the description box below this video. There, I'm still running a special to the end of this month. Um, as of now, it will be ending April 1st, unless I uh, have some messages come in to extend that. So take advantage of that. You can book in advance for a, a, a date further out, but you have to book it before this, to get the sale price, you have to book it this week. So, all right, <laughs> enough of all of that. Let's get into it. And the sale prices are as listed. I had to just reduce the prices. It doesn't let me show you. So, one hour readings are $100. They are reduced to $80 on the site. That's an example. So take advantage of the sale if you feel called to. Okay, we have Owl Medicine. I have not seen this one yet. I just read a story about an owl this morning. Owls are very sacred. Well, all animals and plants are sacred. Let's see what the meaning is in this book. Denise Lynn is actually, I, I want to just tell you, um, she is a member of the Cherokee Nation. So she is of indigenous, um, and she wrote these oracle cards at the base of a very sacred mountain. So there's a lot of messages in these beautiful cards. Okay. Card meaning, wisdom, illumination, intuition, clairvoyance, and deep insight abound. Go within. Profound majesty and grace is available to you simply by pooling your awareness inward. Ancient knowledge is emerging within you. You know the truth. Trust your perception. You are a truth seeker and a truth sharer. Nurture the feminine spirit within you. Wow. It says also here, there's a lot here, so I'm not going to read them all, but I was guided to this sentence. When this card chooses you, you are at the advent of a time of illumination and transformation. 
I have the chills. So you are going through a big, big awakening process at this time, Aquarius. There are a lot of intuitive messages arising within you. You're picking up a lot. Stay with it. Stay very present. This is sacred. This is for you. This is um, a beautiful process. Don't turn it into something that is scary or freaky. This is you. This is a part of you that spirit wants you to embrace, embody, and understand at a much deeper level, as well as a lot of your own medicine, as it is owl medicine, your own medicine is arising within you to assist you in healing from a lot of deep unconscious pain that you've been carrying around within you. Okay, and that is very Plutonian in nature for sure when pluto squares the north and south node i've been saying this a lot um that represents uh the skipped steps on our healing path on our journey that we have either only touched the surface of um or skimmed over and you know kept going and there's a part of us that knows that we're like whoo Got through that. I'm good. Don't need to heal through that anymore. I'm aware. I'm aware. No, that's a skipped step. If there's no healing, if there's no internal healing, you're going to continue to revisit until you go to the root, to the depths of it. And when you're weeding, if you just surface weed and you're not getting down to the root, it's going to continue to keep growing up. It's still growing within you. You're not getting to the root. So this is this energy is taking us all, not just Aquarius, taking us all to the root. Now, I found myself over the weekend that I have been running from. We're, we unconsciously run from ourselves. We unconsciously run from certain things that we've denied, suppressed, repressed within us. These are parts within us. This is soul retrieval. It is very intense and it is very serious and it is very important to our journey. We continue to deny, repress, and suppress these parts within us. They grow bigger. They grow stronger. They grow more intense. And you may be starting to really experience this now. But this is you with you. And your intuition is guiding you through, as well as spirit. There are so many other energies surrounding you, surrounding us, whether you're aware of it or not, that are really, truly guiding you through that. Try not to resist. Try not to let the monkey mind, the program condition mind, take you off track. Each time it does, spirit is going to come in and make more complications on that track for you. Until you're like, oh, okay, I get it. I'm not supposed to be on this track. <laughs> Let me just sit. Sit, wait for your internal guidance, wait for the signs, wait for where the energy pulls you. And if it pulls you just to sit, I suggest doing that because that is, I mean, I, I speak with love. I've been through this journey for a long time and I've gone through these things and I've been a resistor. I've been a runner, not knowing, but when I see it, I'm like, oh, okay, stop. I see I'm pro like my program mind still takes me other places. We all do it. That's part of the human condition. The more awareness you can be of that, the more awareness you can be of how your body feels, how energies feel within you, which may be getting very intense right now for a reason so that you can stop and sense and we are sensory beings. It's not always this intense, but the universe will crank it up intensely if um, we're resisting. The more we resist, it persists. The It's like holding on to a, a, a big a rock in a rushing water that's trying to pull you down but you're like no i'm going to keep going upstream i'm going to make it upstream and branches and shit's flying in your face and <laughs> eventually you just let go and flow with where the energy the water is taking you it's a lot easier that way it's a lot more calm there's less injury there's less pain Okay, that was a specific message for some uh, or all of you. 
a lot of my readings this week have felt very specific for all the zodiac I've done so far. I don't know if that's just me and how I'm picking it up. I know it's not just for one specific person or one specific group, but it is very specific. <laughs> Let's just say that. Okay. Aquarius. look at the bigger picture and that's exactly what this energy is bringing us to a point of being able to expand so we're not just looking at like if we're taken to a wound we're taken to various wounds but we're taken to a pretty big wound right and the energy is asking us to expand that wound. First of all, go as deep as you can. Go all the way back to childhood. This expands that wound to all of the parts that you've played, all of the people that have come into your life, all of the experiences that you've had. How have they been showing you you're off path or you're on path? Um, how have they been uh, shaping and molding you? to know yourself and gauge life and um, usually we have to come to such a cataclysmic painful event with a person or place uh, or thing that um, we're really attached to uh, may even uh, most of our ad identify with so for it to break apart and we lose all of ourselves we lose our identity we lose all of the but those really aren't they're what we think is our identity it's truly not the base soul essence of who we are. That starts to get stripped away through the journey in layers and layers and layers. We keep holding on to certain beliefs, certain judgments, certain way, like, you know, eventually we get chipped away, chipped away, chipped away. But you can also expand this to see how we are all also connected. So spirit speaks through all of us unconsciously. We're not aware of it a lot of times. I mean, I am because I am aware when I'm channeling, <laughs> but everybody's channeling whether they're aware of it or not at times. So there are very direct messages that come to us that hit us in the heart chakra and the gut through words of other people, even in between those words and signs and synchronicities. And it's speaking to us from all over the place. And we're all in our own unique, like auric field of life and other people are too and I'm a visual I, I if I had paper I would draw this for you but we come into contact with each other we have communications and energy exchanges with each other we're also connected like a web it, so expand there's so much more to the picture and the story than what you have experienced yourself or what your mind is telling you the story that your mind is is telling you it's deep we get so deep with pluto it's 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 nuts but it's not it's beautiful at the same time so okay look at the bigger picture aquarius i'm actually guided to read from the book look at the bigger picture oh that's interesting I have not been prompted to do that uh, in a very long time. I thought that was a pretty big message that came through. All right. Stop it, Paige. Uh, are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma? Fretting over minute can be counterproductive. Or perhaps you're being all talk and no action. This card is a reminder that while it's good to think things through, sometimes you need to step back and look at the bigger picture. What do you see about your current situation? What's the most positive thought you can have about it? Now is the time to count your blessings, even if you don't yet have exactly what you want. This card is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could surprise you. All right. I'm 
prompted to share a little bit of my personal journey and an example of this. So I'm going to, this is an unusual reading guys, but just stick with me here. This is specific. Um, so I had an experience, an encounter with, um, another that brought me to my knees, basically opened my heart chakra, opened me up to what true unconditional love is. I'm going to keep that in a nutshell. At the same time, we had had a, a deep connection that we was cosmic, truly brought me into this realm that I'm working through now. Um, when we were about seven or eight months in, we began to, uh, uh, fall back into our ego ways and sort of repelled each other in, in a way where we had never done before. We had known each other for seven years too, which is interesting. Seven years and seven months with, so, uh, what I'm trying to get at is that the way that the other person behaved and spoke to me was so heartbreaking and so traumatizing. And um, at the same time, I had lost everything. I mean, everything, my marriage, my home, my job, everything. I was at rock bottom. At the same token, at that time, I was still I would say not as extremely addicted, but still working through um, getting myself off of heavy narcotic pain medication that I was legally taking for um, a severe spinal injury, but wanted to get off of and eventually was able to. So that was just another like big challenge for me. I mean, big, huge, massive. At this point, I'm left all alone. I have no support. I have no contact with this person that had, you know, had such a heart connection to because there was also pain and anger there. So many years have passed and um, it, this energy comes back up for me at times. And it has, again, recently, and I was able to see it from a much bigger picture, a much more expansive picture. And the first part of the picture that I saw was that spirit, the universe came through this person to reach me, to reach my heart, to open me up, crack me open to healing, to get, and I was able to get off of all medications. I was able to really heal my body, my mind, my soul, connect to where I am now, and to hold any anger and resentment towards this person. The 3D, um, you know, uh, <laughs> the 3D person, who's also in their own pain body, our pain bodies are what clashes. So, um, it just opened my heart to so much love and so much gratitude because if that had not happened, who knows where I would be? I could be dead. The direction that I was potentially going before that. So that is looking at the bigger picture, the bigger, and it allowed me to release, let go of all of of the pain from that experience that went deeper it went down all the way down to my experiences with my dad and my stepdad i mean i'm talking journey and that's just one example there's many others too i have a big family i have a big life so looking at the bigger picture really does release you from the pain and opens the heart back up to the truth the truth the, like look at me now as opposed to then. Okay. That's the bigger picture. <laughs> All right. My apologies for all those who are waiting for cards. Um, these are channeled messages, by the way. And, you know, take what resonates for you and leave the rest. I just shared a big part of myself. And I am happy to do so. I am happy to be transparent and vulnerable enough to, to put that out there into the world because it doesn't matter to me anymore. It can help save lives. I could have died. Okay, Aquarius, loneliness fell on the floor. This is going to 
don't look at loneliness as a problem. When we are left in the void, when we are not connecting to others or anything, it is because spirit wants us to connect to deeper parts of ourselves, parts of ourselves that we have left behind in pain at the scene of the crime, so to speak. Um, you are never alone. There are always energies, angels, God, whatever you connect to, they are always here. They're always here. I feel them. They're speaking to me now. I, I can tell you this. This is true. <sighs> Go into those depths. Look at who you were in the past versus who you are now. What are, where have you gone through? How, who have you become through your pain? That is your medicine. That is your strength. That is your power. We must expand. We can't stay in our tunnels of pain. Empathy. It also, I, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get my water. One moment. This is a heavy reading here. And I channeled heavy energy, or not heavy, sorry, intense energy like this. It tends to make me very thirsty. So, I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. That is expansion right there. Expanding, at least at, at that point. If you're still in your own pain and you're not able to get out there, stay in there. Go deeper. You didn't get the root. It won't last as long if you don't resist it. When we resist it, when we try to get out of it, when we try to distract ourselves from it, it is so much more painful and it lasts so much longer. Trust me on that. Okay, we have friendship and we have gratitude at the bottom. Oh, throat chakra. Either that or someone's very choked up at this point. Um, gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. It is important to um, get to that point where you can find gratitude. That's the other thing. You know, when I was brought through all these painful things and risen up to see the expansiveness of it, I just, my heart opened and I had so much gratitude for all the people that have hurt me. I was able to then see all of the people in my life and the times where um, my feelings were really deeply hurt or I was betrayed or I felt abandoned and felt judged and all those things but like it, it was reading deeper parts of me that like I needed to clear out okay friendship I under that I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason so me telling you this story I mean these cards are saying it right here this is definitely a, a very um detailed message for for you or for someone um here okay People come into our lives for very specific reasons. Nothing is by accident. Nothing is by chance. Even the choices and decisions we've made under certain energies, under certain conditions, were meant to. We all get zapped with certain energies and we have different, we have more than one consciousness. I have to say it. We have more than one. And this is why it's important to retrieve all of our parts, all of our consciousnesses, so that when certain energies come in, we don't get taken over by them. It's almost like you, we get put into a spell at times when we are fragmented, when we have parts that have not been connected back to, retrieved, healed, accepted, loved, trapped in fear. You feel lonely, Aquarius, because you're still trapped in your fear. You're still caged in something deeper within you that you are not looking at. That's causing, it's arising, it's symptom is fear. Fear of something. Fear of connection. Fear of putting yourself out there. Fear of 
fear of making an important decision and choice for yourself which would lead you to harmony. This is your goal. But you have to be open to seeing both sides of the situation to get here. Because right now you're just one-sided in your mind. There's only one part of the story that you're allowing to exist. And that's causing you to feel very lonely. The waiting game at the bottom so you're really stuck in this loop here Aquarius because you're waiting for something outside of yourself to um, move you or change or or something while you're resisting going deeper in while you're resisting um, You're stuck in this heartache and loss by this connection. A certain person has come into your life and really had an effect on you. It could be a friend. It could be deeper. Um, and you're really just, this is all that you can focus on is the heartache and the loss and, and the waiting. Trapped in fear that it you're, you're never going to have that experience again or that connection again really wanting a harmonious relationship knowing that there is it does require some sort of movement in energy a choice a decision whether it's even just mindset the way you see something can shift your energy decisions some of some may truly need to make physical movement and choices and decisions as well um aaron brockovich she has a book that says um superman's not coming so if you're waiting to be rescued you're going to be waiting a long time. You're waiting on yourself, Aquarius. I hate to tell you that. I hate that news. But you are waiting on yourself. So the same thing about the empathy card as goes with the blame card. Um, you know, when we place blame outside of ourselves to someone else and we have that energy and that focus there, you, all you can feel is the pain and the heartache and loss. Um, just like my story that I shared, I once blamed this person who was quite mean to me and had changed in demeanor and the way he treated me from before. Um, and it hurt a lot. And I was stuck in that story for a very long time until, um, I've had moments of expansion. I've had moments of expansion and contractions, expansion and contraction. But at this last expansion was like, boy, oh boy, it totally just released me. It released me from it all. I, I can only have love and gratitude. I mean, truly, truly. I would not be here today if I did not have that experience. You're trapped in fear. And one of those reasons why you're not overcoming that is because there's something that you need to do or say. There's an action for yourself, towards yourself, towards your healing. And I'm, I'm getting you, you're aware of it. There's a part of you that's aware of it. It may be a part of you that you push away. You don't trust I'm hearing you don't trust it or believe that it's true. There's a part of you that doesn't. Yeah, Tower. But you are having some pretty deep realizations right now with the Tower. So go with that. Hmm, 30 minutes almost, 29.43. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just heard, don't look at the time. Okay, strength at the bottom. Good, 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 good. 
the energy is shifting here. Six of Wands in reverse, Nine of Wands, Five of Cups in reverse, Four of Cups judgment. All right, give me, let me feel this one out here. First of all, the Six of Wands in reverse is someone who's unable to make changes in their lives because there's fear present or there's something that has not yet been overcome. Yet the Nine of Wands tells me that there has been. So it's kind of contradictory um, energy. It's almost like you come to the realizations, you take a few steps. It's like you take a step or two forward and then you take three more steps backwards with the five of cups because it's drived it's driven by your emotions and your emotions five of, <coughs> five of cups in reverse um is that you're not only focusing on the loss it's all you can focus on and that might not be, um, it's all you can see. The focus of the energy is being placed in this direction of heartache and loss. Yet the only thing you can see is the heartache and loss. And um, the energy is asking you to go deeper, to get out of this picture this pain of can you go deeper expand judgment four of cups it's like just sit with it you, even if you're not meditating just sit with it and see where it takes you see if it can you know you've been really chained to this idea and um kind of buried by it but now like the energy is pulling you up it's trying to break the chains it's like Wake up, wake up. There's a part of your conscious mind that is, um, it is your strength. It's like, hey, you remember me? I'm in here too. Can, can I say something? <laughs> There's a dominant energy that's of sadness and heartache and loss that takes over you is what I'm trying to get at. So the awareness of that might help you kind of tap out of that shake it off for a minute it's not denying it it's not like no okay i'm here still in the pain but let's see what other pictures there are than the one that i can only focus on does that make sense all right we're going to get one uh, advice for you aquarius um and if, if you are enjoying this video so far, would you please, as an energetic exchange, click that like button, please. It's very important that we exchange energy with each other. Um, it's important that I ask. Um, and also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Because doing these things does help my channel, help the growth, but it also helps get the messages out to more people who truly may need to hear this. It would be possibly very helpful for some people to hear this message. So that goes with the algorithms with YouTube. So um, it's also part of my um, lessons is to ask for energetic exchanges. That's what we are doing here. All right. Um, advice for parents, please. The land in between and smoke and mirrors. And the land, I, I'm going to read smoke and mirrors from the book. I'm already getting the message clear here at the land in between. So, and you may just really feel like very weird sometimes because you have one foot in the past and one foot in going towards the, the future. And um, the universe is like, now we're going to... We're going to bring you up here into this third realm here. So spirit is really concentrated with you right now, whether you're aware of it or not. The energy is that Pluto is like, yeah, we're going to just take you over here, but don't fight it. <laughs> okay. You're in this little, this is sort of a training ground. This is a healing space. Okay. Accept it. 
and, and get what, as much as you can out of it. You're going to be released into your future self, but you don't want to carry any of your past self with you. You have to accept this is almost like a death while you're alive. And if you're still attached to um, parts of your past self, that is because those are the parts that need to be um, accepted, loved, healed. They need to be okay and on board with going into a new life, going into a new version of you. Those are the parts that are like, wait, 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 wait. Um, I want to go with you, but um, you got to like even acknowledge that I exist. Okay. You've got to like see what happened and, and, and like take me with you, but let me know that I'm with you. <laughs> let me know we're all on board or we'll read smoke and mirrors from the book we're actually built to view the world inaccurately our five senses tell us we are separate from one another we're conditioned to see time as linear. This creates a consciousness of delineation, separation, and finality. We have an innate fear that what we see is all there is. Although we know deep down there is more, we are suspicious of it. Our fear of death results from this kind of perception. The entire world is a construct of smoke and mirrors, and our job is to discover the truth that lies beyond this illusion. Discoveries at the frontiers of science align with what the ancients have known. At the atomic level, we are blinking lights and empty space. Consciousness is fundamental. Time can be bent, and we are eternal. Ask yourself, if what you see is really just what you're looking for, what do you sense beyond your intellectual assessment of what is? Can you drop into your heart and soul and call for a vision, a feeling, an awareness of your true and authentic? Every day, remind yourself that you are intrinsically connected to all life. The universe needs you to learn about it. You have within you extraordinary magic with which to co-create life beyond your wildest expectations. Today, trust the inner voice that reminds you that you truly will find what you seek and more, even if outer conditions appear to challenge that. It's all smoke and mirrors. Things are not exactly as they seem. And basically, Aquarius, in a nutshell, that's what I always like to say. But I find that even as I say it, it's not going to be fully received by others until they experience it, you know? But at least these words will stay there. And some of you have experienced it. And this is just waking you up to, like, to that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> So I hope that this was helpful for you. I'm sorry it was so long, but not sorry, really. Um, thank you for joining in. I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.